Hello everyone, this is Nick Walker from Aether Technology. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use redirect rules on an application load balancer to intercept a call to a specific host name on a domain and send it someplace else. This is a continuation of a series I've been doing that shows you different ways that you can use Lambda, CloudFront, and ELB to do different types of redirects. In this case, I have a DNS entry blog.aethertechnology.com that I want to send over to the correct URL on our website where the blog is actually hosted on our www server. I already have an existing loan balancer. You can see it here called aethertechnology-com, which handles all of our inbound traffic. So the first step here is to create a DNS entry. I'm going to go back to Route 53. Uh, for blog.aethertechnology.com. So you create record, then blog, and this is going to be an alias. I'm going to choose my endpoint. It's going to be an alias to uh, an application load balancer. This load balancer is in North Virginia, and there is my aethertechnology-com load balancer. So I'll go ahead and create that record. And while that's propagating, we're going to go into our load balancer and select it. And you can see I have two listeners on this load balancer. One is for port 80. And this does, um, the rule on this just redirects the host to SSL, to port 443, um, regardless of the host name that's coming in. So we leave this rule alone. And then we're going to go up and actually edit the HTTPS version of this rule. So I click on that. It opens up a new window for me, and then I have this Rules tab. I'm going to click on Rules, and this shows the, the default uh, behavior, which is to just forward it to a target group. And we're going to click on Manage Rules. And we're going to do here is add a rule that looks for blog.aethertechnology.com and behaves differently than just forwarding it to this target group. So we'll click on this plus icon and then Insert Rule. And the condition we're going to use is host header. So I'm just going to look for blog.aethertechnology.com. And then for action, I'm going to click on uh, redirect to. And then we're going to pick a custom host uh, path query. And the host that we want to send this to is not going to be pound host. It's going to be www.aethertechnology. Dot com and the path that we are going to send this to is slash blog because that's where our blog lives and then we'll leave the query string alone we also need to enter a port here we're going to use the default port and we are good to go save it and save the rule and now your new rule has been created successfully. So now we need to go test this. Go back to root 53. It's in sync. Now we'll type blog. Aether technology.com. And there you go. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. What? <laughs>